Finally, analyze the data. Data, 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 data. After your interviews, go through your notes to find the best opportunity. First, sort your notes by types of customers, gender, age, and differences in buying behavior. Find the key insights from each customer type. Let's look at an example from an early stage LaunchX company, Dropwise. They realize that homeowners living in an area of a drought have the highest need to reduce their water usage. Next, you'll develop a customer persona, the one person within your target market who has the biggest unmet need. But I need it. And would be willing to spend time and money to find a solution. Please? All right. In the Lamborghini dealership example, Giovanni was the customer persona. Bill could list his lifestyle, income, where he goes, what he wears, everything. By targeting one type of person, everyone in your company will know who your product or service is for. And you'll be able to refer back to and even talk to this person when you need to make decisions. So where should we eat? Check out this example of a customer persona. Notice that they identify details such as where she lives, how many kids she has, and her goals. Now it's your turn. Identify one person from your interviews and list out everything you know. 60K a year, he rents, he's an impulse buyer. Their interests, frustrations, needs, goals, everything. Oh, and he's single. In this section, we covered types of market research methods, how to conduct your interviews, the value of customer focus, and how to develop your customer persona. In the next section, we'll cover how to design your offering. Did you hear that door opening? <laughs>